is that Ludwig Svenestal was around in nine minutes and 54 seconds, which, I mean... The fastest so far. That is quick. Yeah, I mean, he looked like he went out meaning business. Sam on Tullebeg Flamenco. So this is a big striding horse. So it's, it's quite an interesting comparison, the likes of this horse versus Ludwig's horse that was... Completely a, different animals. Yeah, completely different uh, way of galloping. But this is a big striding horse. And with these big stretches between the fences, a horse like this will eat up the clock. So we wish Sam all the best. He sets up for fence six. The reins a little rattle and there you can see a bit of hands and heels. Good boy, Sam. Uh, sit up maybe. Yeah, Jumped pretty nice over that. And down to the coolie ditch. Just a little a little reminder there. He jumped it quite well. He laboured a fraction on the way to it. So as Sam heads out, we can see on our screens that Joanna Rimmer, she's making very, very good progress. She heads towards the back end of the course. JP Sheffield, we've seen a few pictures of him. He's continuing to make good progress around the course, a little bit over halfway around. And we watch Sam Watson as he approaches the Kubota Bank. Sits up, come back here. A little bit of leg when he lands up. Elbows out. Ooh. Yeah, interesting, you know, so he committed on the four initially, realized it wasn't gonna be there, made a, made a change of mind, got it done. I, I think after a jump like this, his next fence will get the horse back. I'd say he loved this fence. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Yeah, I told you. Yep. <laughs> Sometimes I'm right, Kelly. I'm just <laughs> so he's back going Take again, Sam. It. Fair play, like, cause he made that decision on top of the mound. It might not have looked fabulously pretty, but one of my favourite phrases with cross country riding is, "There's no pictures on the scorecard." So he's still clear, and he's blazing a trail on the way up towards the Land Rover water. What we have seen is the riders have been very reactive out there. They've had to change their mind a couple of times, add add distances, and yeah. The, the what is it's nice to see with Sam's horse that he's starting to sort of lengthen his neck and really start to travel now and he's getting into it good, well ridden. Down. Yes. Super cross country riding. That's, you never know when you walk a, f a combination like that, particularly with a gate in water. And I was listening to Ian Starr the other day thinking that when he put it in there, he was maybe a little bit scratching his head, but w how he justified it to himself was by putting a good ground line in front of it. And this he thought would really help the horses. And anything I have seen jumping it today have jumped it really, really well. But y you still have to jump it like an upright fence. The, the body has to come back and the horse have to be in the right balance, even in the water. So I think Sam gave a good example. This fence has caught a few people out. It'll be interesting to see how a greener one at this level will go around. But, but well the thing, beaten. Kelly, is that, okay, he looked a bit green, but um, the difference with Sam is that he came back to the right speed, even though the hearse was green. And, and I think in the end, that's what saves um, 20 penalties because you're on the correct line, you're going the right speed, and you're allowing them to see what's in front of them. And he, you can see a couple of times there, Sam really has had to work to get the speed that he wants, but you know that's that's correct. Here's Here we Jaunty. have Jaunty out with Clara M. Jaunty did a good test in this horse, I think. Yeah. Um, the horse I don't know, but um, looked very smart in the dressage. He's lying in seventh position. If he can go around close enough to the clock, he will definitely move up. I, uh, all the hearses are having a lick, little look at that and I'm not surprised because you almost sort of come into a shoot and then at the last minute there's a door open on both sides of the fence and they have to just stay straight and locked on so um, but this horse looks to be really travelling he loves the top of the ground by the look of him Jaunty is very tall, tall very very tall rider so he has to work really hard on his balance and and how he how he manages his body around the cross country because in a way this could be a real hindrance to your horse if if you're sort of falling about so i know he does train hard and work hard at it and it, it, it's really shown today we're just seeing on our screens here that jp sheffield is continuing on well he's all green boxes as kieran would say he must be nearly home kelly is he i think he's five elements left Speaking to John D earlier in the week, he said he's quite excited about this horse's future. 
So Jonty later on in the day is um, jumping in the CIC three star with Cooley Rourke's drift. He did a fabulous test yesterday. Um, there are a lot of people excited to see how things go. He was things didn't go his way in badminton. That's horses, and we're all hoping that it'll all click into place from this weekend. And he's he's preparing for the Moulin now. Just see, he had to add everywhere there. Yeah, he, he, to be honest, he sort of didn't really trust him. He got a little bit backward, but at the same time, he was in the right place to to make it happen. You just that's you just have to be careful when you go into the water that you don't get a little bit over over checky. So now we see Sam as he approaches this this big big water. Sam so far looks to have had a really really good round. Just gets in behind Tullabeg, sits where ah, perfect, perfect body position on the back of the saddle. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's, yeah, <laughs> that, that's how you ride that. Ladies For and a girls. horse's first CCI, yeah. you'd be delighted he's, with how he's went. He is, he's travelled and he's still galloping. I mean, he's not as fresh as he was, but he is still galloping. He kept a good rate all the way around, so Sam will be continuing to try to hunt the clock. Meanwhile, JP Sheffield is more or less home. He looks to be coming just to the last fence. And John T. Evans continues to make good progress. We stay with Sam. He pings through that, lands, gets back down into that drive position, and away he goes. Heads towards this corner on top of the hill. Dunboyne Castle, very kindly sponsored. On top of the mound, pings that. And he heads way down now towards the, towards the, the Blue Frog bench saw table. Now on course we do have our CCI one star winner, Matthew Wright. So very, very unfortunate news to bring you regarding John T. Evans. We, we have a yellow box has appeared, which means we have one refusal at 12A. So the eventing Ireland sunken road, that has caught a couple of people. That's the third one so that far? That is the third, the third problem. A couple of them just, they just haven't liked the look of that ditch in the background. And according to our screens, John T. has become the latest victim. But we're still with Sam with the Tullabeg Flamenco. As he prepares, we haven't seen a lot of this water. You saw Tullabeg just have a little poke, and I suggested earlier on on a course walk that that might happen, and that little poke just threw the balance off, and the stride pattern got a little bit upset, and he got a touch close, but it's quite a forgiving fence, the way he's positioned it up on top of the mound, and you will get away with a short, a short stride. On a tired horse, you saw the way he landed. He's a little bit tired. They land a little bit flat. But he's Sam's position is really up. helping him. Yeah, he's picked him up. The horse is still travelling well. This this is going to be a good round. You know, he's a, this is a very, very deceiving length of stride on this horse. So Sam makes his way. He's got three fences to jump. He's got the Weatherby's table. Matthew Wright is out on course. He's coming off the back of winning the Land Rover CCI one-star earlier this morning. He's clear all the way.